I came to Chiang Mai to meet my biological brother and guru, Promo. This video will be different. Every video is a piece of art. Sometimes the guru of many must go on pilgrimage to see the guru of one. In this series, we'll see how a young 24-year-old bodhisattva helps a pretful untie himself. This is the first installment in the journey to enlightenment with the Dalai Lama. I hadn't played in three weeks. For my time in Hua Hin with B-Dog, I had three major priorities. I only realized the third one after nine holes of this round though. My wedge game, my chipping game, my headspace. The last 18 months has destroyed a lot of people's mental game, and with the added new life stress that came with it, I was a ball of tension waiting to explode. We bring our life stress to the course and unknowingly try to get rid of it through golf. You'll see me disintegrate over the first nine holes, and in the series, the vulnerability of your average golfer afflicts me. I invite you to understand the way of the player journey in real time. I am you. You are me. A low handicapper struggling like a high handicapper. Perhaps you can identify yourself in these problems. In this series, you'll see all the phases you go through playing with better players than you. This video is the first phase, the delusional ego phase. In this phase, please notice how I try to hit big drives like Mo. I'll turn around in a semi-outrage that I could possibly hit such a poor shot as if I want Mo to think I'm not as shit as I am. I get frustrated because I should be doing better in front of Mo. This expectation of playing around players much better than you will cause you to play worse. That is the irony. The irony is Mo will be more impressed with me managing my own game rather than trying to be someone I'm not. This is important for you if you decide to improve and play with players better than you. Top tip, when you play with better players, don't use self-deprecating humor against yourself. No one is impressed and no one thinks it's funny. Be confident in what you can do. This will endear you to more players anywhere you go. So strong, I go. Oh, draw. A draw ball. I can hit a golf ball. <laughs> I promise you. Oh, looks good, baby. Oi, chip in. Look at that. Look at that. That's over the green. Oi. Pin high. Okay. Man, I have problem with the wedges. I don't know how to fix it. In. Oh my god. Yeah, you're right. Good pass key. Oh, that's the position. Oh, what a position. It's like the Kama Sutra of golf. Oh, too straight. <laughs> Boy. Getting too straight sometimes, not good. On Phuket. Oh, no. That is terrible. Oh, my God. Safe, though. Safe from the bunker. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, good touch, good touch. Oh, what a shock. I mean, probably, probably the best shot part I have seen. <laughs> That is punished. You've hit that into next week, bro. <laughs> Has it come down yet? That should be okay. Dude, that's long though. Crack. 
that's a big boy. Long though. I mean, the ball speed is going like. Oh, Whew, good shot. Shot. Gonna run like 200 yards. Tasty, tasty. Good shot. You know how to play golf, man. <laughs> I still know how. I still know how to do it. Yeah. Ooh, straight. But right, like right there, you aim right there. Even yeah. the last ball. Straight ball. I mean, even. Okay, the man they call the beast of the east, he puts the thigh back into Thailand and he just plugged that driver all carry, no kissing. What a man. of a florist. No, Matt, you see, where are you going now? Go. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> what a short cut. The man. What a man. When last did you play on a golf course? I think one and a half months ago. Why? Just ran out of money. <laughs> no tournament. No, nothing. It's just like, okay, I'm just gonna you know, tighten my belt. Tighten. Sensuality. Hey, what a bounce. I think one thing definitely is because like we forget about the past things so quickly like we don't remember about the bad shot we just like think positive and then just look after like what you need to do on that shot what kind of shape that's why we have caddy like we, we we talk about what kind of shot we need to hit and then we just focus on that so we have no time thinking about the past so you mean like if I'm a handicapped golfer like me I come to a course and I have like yeah, a bad and, hole. And then you have a bad memories and then you just feel like, oh, I'm gonna go right or left again. And you forget about what you need to do, about maybe your routine or maybe your breathing or maybe your tempo or anything like that. Okay. Then you start to hit a bad shot and you start to lose yourself in the round and just keep going 18 holes. <laughs> I got you. Yeah, and you start to feel like, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm so shit. Okay, but. I mean, pitching is not gonna cut that much, it's higher than that. Yeah. That's a beauty. Ah, come on. Sanit noi. What a stroke. Woo! <laughs> Okay. <laughs> mm. 
That's a money shot right there, bro. I didn't record that one. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> What a shot. Not out the sweet spot, but it's sexy. I'll try to pick a thing up. This is when you need to move. Yeah, I know, but I wasn't planning on playing the big. What a rocket man. Big end then. Good man, here. Is it too straight, man? Yeah. I thought it's gonna draw a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. What is this? Like a regular? <laughs> <laughs> The saddest part is that this is my sandwich from 90 yards and that is that 200 and something, 260, 270, 280 yard three wood, closer than a wedge. Mo's living comes from hitting the ball in the hole in as few as possible, and he hasn't even had that opportunity. Despite not having any income for a long time, he is a Zen master. I must learn. It was around this point of the round where I got really hot. Get in the hole. Duff. Oi. Duffy. Good job. The truth is, I was not comfortable inside, and it didn't matter what program was running. An accumulation of saddening and maddening events happened over the last 18 months that are not unique to me by any means, but have all taken a toll. There is no curtain being pulled back because it's private, but I hope you see through the tiny crack that perhaps it's inside you too. It's not the golf, it's not your game, it's everything. It's the overstimulation of your senses and your emotions. You know what I'm talking about. I'm sure you're tired and worn out over it too. Why do people just not want to be happy? Why do people want others to not just be happy? And scene. Back into character. Mo calmed me down with a cup of coffee at halfway. Imagine the scene. Neo sitting down with Morpheus and talking him down. I was one minute away from leaving the course and ending the program. He offered me the black pill or the white pill. We played the second nine and this was the beginning of the healing through golf. What a shot. It was full idgaff mode again. Mo unplugged me and plugged me into a new simulation. I was going to hit whatever I felt like as often as I could without a care about the result. I felt a weight off my shoulders. 
It was time to let go of the ego. I was the best golfer in the group for too long, and now it was time to let the river wash over me. Oh, what a drive. Wow. Boss, man. Yes. How much? 179. 179? Yeah. What a drive. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, man. You got it. Woo. What is that? Only 169 on that one. Really? I didn't grip down on this shot even though the ball was above my feet. These little slips create frustration, but they are things I forgot through filming and rushing around. It's natural. We can be easy on ourselves instead of constantly looking for what we did wrong in some form of addiction to never making excuses. Good shot. I like the tempo. Good putt player. Good putt player. Come on. Hey, do. Oh. Come on. Big right to left. Gonna go down the slope. At the end, one foot from the hole. Oh, what a call! And just like that, I remembered. It takes only one shot to save a hole. I just have to stop building walls to climb over in my mind. It's amazing how much more fun golf is when you're focused on the shot. You're engaged with what you want to do, not what may go wrong. The outside interferences melt away when you decide to turn them into specks of dust. I mean... Yes! No. Oh, oh, look at that bounce. Oh. Hello, uh... Look at that bounce. Look at that bounce, baby. Two little ayah. Yo, that face is nice, huh? Ooh, they. I think I don't think you can go that line. Yeah. Dead? Yeah. What is it? Oh, that's the biggest bomb of the life. I took the wrong line, forgetting that I was on a further forward tee than the last time I played. But it was a great drive, and I was proud of it. Sometimes we can be hard on ourselves for a good Ooh. shot, where 9 out of 10 things went well, but 1 out of the 10 things caused a bad result. This perspective can save a lot of frustration. Imagine it was still the first 9. I would be livid and lose all focus. I hit a great drive, and it just went on the wrong line again. Sure, it's in the water, but it's only a golf ball. There are many more. The golf ball isn't yours. It was just your turn. Hello. Get in there, get in. Yeah, man. Okay, good. Point. <laughs> no, no draw. 
still fine. I take my drop and all I can control is the approach to my next shot. The ball is below my feet and the lie is pretty good. I don't expect much to go wrong from this lie. I focus my attention on the left side of the green. All I want is to hit it there. And it goes to the left side of the green. I think I'm now getting out of my own way finally. The pretzel is unraveling. Oh, what a good shot. Little draw off the fade lie. Players, look at this beautiful day it turned out to be. It was looking a bit dark for me. I was getting a little bit annoyed with external factors. Every time I come here, to be honest, well, of the two times, it's two for two. But I thought I'm gonna go, yeah, hit the four iron. I thought, let me either go home or calm down, relax. Mo got me a coffee and I relaxed. So now I thought, okay, it's just this nine, just smash it, hit it hard. Let's have fun and the scoring's better. What a shot. That's one of your best. What a shot, man. Whoa. 150? No, can't see. My lovely. <laughs> Where do you go? That's long, man. Think that. Oh, man. Too straight. Super straight. Too straight. Okay, how many yards? 97. 97, what you got? 50. P pitching, huh? 50. 50, okay. I'm gonna, I don't know what it's gonna do, man. Let's I'm go, just, let's see. Yeah, I'm just gonna affect, do, do my best and then just gonna see if it's like, I'm not. Yeah. 
or you can learn. Yes, good bounce off the card path. <laughs> I know I look disappointed players and it may seem for no reason, but this is incredibly lucky. I didn't think I was going to land up here on the right, but I did, and it luckily just stayed on. I didn't deserve this result. I deserved to go down the hill, which would have been the end of the world shot, but I got lucky, so I'm happy. But I don't want to chunk that wedge anymore, Henry. I'm not being able to hit greens inside 100, and it's incredibly frustrating. The real kick in the backside came from Mo. It wasn't so much what he said to me, which was unrelated to golf, but the combination of his Zen masterful words and watching him unfazed by shit. He is above it. Allowing small nuances to bother him would be the end of him. Minimal income, minimal opportunity, yet he has grown his body, he has practiced, he has improved his technique. A silly thing here or there cannot push him off his path. Great drive. Man, that's some big Richard energy right there. Man, that's a big dog. Big, huh? Yeah, man. Look at that. It's the fake out push draw. I love it. This is something I am embarrassed to say. I had to learn from such a young beast. But if Mo can dedicate his life to the sport and be unfazed, who in the hell am I? I help Mo out when I can. I am in a position to do that. I should be less mentally disturbed than Mo. Yet here we are. Mo is my guru. I shall not want. Thank you, Mo. I hope to repay you soon. Come on, Mozilla. Watch your left. Slow, Mo. Slow, Mo. Yes, Queen. 